when I think about what is special about our friendship and our band, I could either talk for three days or have nothing to say. It's mythical and magical and I don't want to examine it. Or I'm like, I'll write the book about it. <laughs> <laughs> As it was shaping up, I think that the song was looking like it was just gonna be about having a little bit of mental Ill illness. <laughs> <laughs> like that choice being made was fun to watch. Just being like, I don't know why, like I'm frustrated that my brain works how it does. So I was like, okay, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's gonna be more expected of us than us writing <laughs> about hating our own brains? And then I think it got more special to me when it, the element like Phoebe has expressed it as like self-hatred plus having a God complex, like, sometimes you feel like you're the best thing ever and like both of those states can be happening at the same time. Yeah, they're the same um, guy to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Black hole opened in the kitchen Every clock's a different time It would only take the energy to fix it. I don't know why I am the way. Black hole, it's like this limitless, unfathomable thing in time. Also this like limitless, unfathomable thing in the kitchen. It's so domestic and like changing the clocks is actually so easy. So it's like these things that should be easy about life are actually tied to these things that feel like you can't even touch them, which uh, is a flavor of <laughs> mental illness <laughs> that I think like a lot of people deal with, like just not being able to actually do executive function to like deal with something. Too tired to piss, too full of piss to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Every night. <laughs> and that's this guy, I think. Yeah. That's this version of us. I am not strong enough to be your man. I try, I can't stop staring at the ceiling fan and spinning out about things that haven't happened. Breathing in and out. Just staring at your ceiling and being like, I literally can't show up for anybody if I can't change the clocks in my kitchen and I can't do a simple task. It's like, you don't want to see this, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But yeah. we talk about that all the time, mm -hmm. like the type of guy, non-binary term, I think, but the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. the type of guy who's like, you don't want any part of this. Like, I think we're all guilty you of- better than me, man. At, at some point in our lives being like, I couldn't possibly be accountable to another human being. It's like, well, that's the whole point is that it's a little bit hard. Drag racing through the canyon. Singing boys don't cry. Part of this greater thesis of just being like, boys don't cry, like get your shit together. When you're hating yourself, it's like, don't fucking wallow in this. Like, yeah. don't cry about it. Like, don't let yourself pity yourself. I feel like that's another voice in the milieu of uh, self-hatred. Hating yourself for hating yourself? Yes. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see us getting scraped up off the pavement? I don't know why I am the way. I had the idea of driving really fast. What I like about this part is that I was picturing you. So I'm imagining you like driving really fast and like screaming Having along like to the radio. It's fun. not imagining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, having yeah, an intrusive yeah. thought about, about like, like ah! the yeah. driver's ed videos that they show you of like kids that die on the yeah. road. Yeah, or like driving on the one cause I was like whipping the Bronco. And then you yes. wrote that verse and I was like, literally I was like, blaring drug church and like going through the canyon on the way back to this. Yeah. And you were like, I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am not strong enough to be your man. I lied. I am just lowering your expectations. Half a mind that keeps the other 
second guessing, close my eyes and count. I love a chorus that sounds phonetically similar to the last one, but isn't, and means an opposite thing or Mm -hmm. an expansion on the first thing. And this means the opposite thing, which is like, I'm better than you actually, because I'm more complex and flawed. But I don't want you to expect me to be around because that would be pressure that I just would prefer not to feel. I am capable of being the man that's strong enough to be your man, but the responsibility of it is not something I can handle. The Mm -hmm. song is like fuckboy genius. It yes. is fuck boy genius. Yes. yes. Always an angel, never God. 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 Always an angel, never Always an angel, never a god. 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 That always an angel, never a god line I've been sitting on for a while, like receiving praise for being subservient. The best that you can do is be the best second in command. If you can't be powerless, you can at least excel in your powerlessness. Like that idea really annoys me, but I have a really smart friend, shout out Hannah, that texted me. It reminded them of Virginia Woolf. It is far harder to kill a phantom than a reality. Also like throughout the song, talking about feeling trapped in in inaction or spiraling, you can talk about that conceptually, but then repeating that almost like is creating a space of redundancy and like not escaping and just like repeating the wrong story to yourself over Mm -hmm. and over. I don't know why I am the way I am. There's something in the static I think I've been having revelations coming to in the front seat, nearly empty, skip the exit to our old street and go home, go home alone. Well, the last chorus kind of marries the first and second verses because it's kind of like this person waking up in their car out of a delusional dream state. Like the mental world of the first verse and first chorus paired with like the setting of the second verse and second chorus show up in this one car where the narrator makes a decision to not give in to something that will make them feel crazy. Also, I just was like, I really wanted a high note and I I was like, do night shift. (laughs) at Lucy when we were recording this because just like a belt at the end, it imbues this lyric that's been self-deprecating the entire song with like acceptance or celebration. We all cheered. We all cheered cheered. in the control room when Lucy hit that note. Now that we're at the end of the song, I'm like, this song's really, really vibes based. It's cohesive, but we've been saying so many disparate things, but also it's just kind of fun to listen to. (laughs) Like, like it's kind of just a vibe. actually doing the thing that your therapist tells you to do like your therapist Mm -hmm. is like take a deep breath go for a walk wait 20 minutes and I'm like no I want to call my ex and blow up my life (laughs) listening to that stuff like counting doing mindfulness I used to be like taking a deep breath is not gonna help me right now and then it does does. like breathe it's literally just go piss it's literally (laughs) just piss Dude. I think people who take care of themselves Mo- piss. <laughs> moisturizer. And I don't. Yeah. Drink water. What if I don't put on moisturizer? What if I did? No, but like. <laughs> the out of context clips are going to be so strong. Yeah. <laughs> we're just talking about piss. <laughs>